Hi, this is a very short video explaining what I, I am aiming to do. So in Blender we have a lot of functions on the modifiers, for example, uh, you need to access manually, but what if you can assign these different modifiers to extra key combinations inside your keyboard? And better yet, what if you can adapt an additional USB numpad to do that task for you? Okay, so here's the rundown. You need to get a macros application such as HID macros. This is, by the way, discontinued. There's a new version, but this one uh, seems more uh, GUI friendly for anyone who wants to try this. So here I click new, create a new command, and then if you click here on scan, and then you press one on your secondary USB numpad, you're going to get uh, keyboard one identification and the event, the, the key, the proper key, it's 97. From there, I'm going to be running a predefined key press combination, which in our case, it's going to be uh, by coming here in help, I get the control using that symbol, and the shift and this is just an arbitrary shortcut that I uh, just made up control shift and N I'm going to come here into blender frames this is all here in the key map section key map frames all the way down here I'm going to delete this one I'm going to create a new one and this is going to be called the screen dot frame underscore offset this will expose the RNA parameter, in this case delta. I'm going to push 1 because I want to go forward. And here Blender is going to ask me, hey, what do you want to do? What do you want to use for this shortcut? So I'm going to click the same thing that we did on HID macros. Control Shift N. Let's use that. Control Shift and then the letter N. So from now on, every time the keyboard recognizes this uh, shortcut combination, it's going to trigger screen frame go forward okay but the problem is that in my secondary numpad key that I have right here whenever I press 1 it's going to get identified as a numpad 1 regardless if it's on this one or if I press this one so this is keyboard 2 this is keyboard 1 identify on HID macros so when I press the secondary USB numpad number one, which is set to, which is binded with this shortcut, it's going to trigger all right, and it's going to work. It's going to move forward. It's going to um, comply with this shortcut. It works, but the problem is that it also triggers the the first command that it's been assigned to numpad one, which is basically you know have the front view front orthographic view so doesn't matter how many times I do this it's always going to launch the numpad one trigger for the front orthographic view so I figured this is not a uh, HID macros problem this is an issue with blender and how do I make how do I make sure that F13 for example one of the function keys is working I'm going to create a new macro this one is going to be called F13 in OBS Okay, super easy. I'm going to scan it, press 2 on my secondary numpad key, and then I'm going to say to send the keyboard sequence to the F13 key. Okay, the F13 key does not physically exist on my keyboard, but HID Macros is capable of emulating such key and letting uh, OBS know that whenever I press my numpad 2, it's going to be emulating the number numpad 13 key on its configuration so check it out I have my general scene and then the trigger the shortcut that I want to use for that the hotkey I want to use for that is going to be F13 so if I press 2 you will see effectively it's reading F13 now it doesn't matter if it works or it doesn't work F13 F4 F24 it doesn't matter the thing is that it's being picked up so therefore we know the HID macros is working correctly as intended and that the issue is happening here in blender now you might say of course you need to unbind the key press that you have for the front orthographic view that means disabling your current typing keyboard 
numpad number one key. But then we will be left with a redundancy. And this is why it is important that Blender recognizes the difference between a um, typing keyboard or keyboard number one and a secondary attached USB numpad keyboard as keyboard number two. So in my experiment, I can see that Blender doesn't do that difference. It's being triggered by the H HID macros. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting the name. HID macros, and it works. It binds, but it also is conflicting with the front orthographic view triggered by that same key press on the regular numpad. It is not making a difference between pressing a secondary keyboard for the numpad and a primary keyboard for the same key on the numpad. So this is just a quick video. Um, I hope that some of you will get a better idea of what I'm trying to accomplish because it will be a huge thing to buy an extra USB numpad and then reroute the commands so that we will have extra keys to do the most common tasks for modifiers, animation keyframes, toggles, and many other things. Uh, with an extra set of keys in the keyboard. Thank you very much.